Welcome to this episode of uh, the Great American Farming Map. So, I finally figured out what was wrong with the uh, soybeans. It's this cedar. Uh, it doesn't work with the cedar, so I'm gonna exchange this and drive it off to the shop and sell it off, and then I will buy a new one. We'll have to take out a small loan to to buy that one. But it will be good. it's quite wide too. It's actually wider than this, I think. Hmm. Will this work? Uh, I think it's good. Okay, so um, because it's it's also John Deere, I think it's a John Deere 2130 CCS. Uh, I think it was called that. We'll put it uh, I will put it in the description too, so you can find it. Um, Mm, and it's, it's a wide one. I wish it was one of those that could fold, uh, but this model doesn't fold, unfortunately. Uh, but I tried it out, and that this new one will uh, sow soybeans. And soybeans will make us a lot more profit than all the rest of our, our arables. So it will be worth it. Uh, even though we'll have to take a loan. We don't have a loan currently. I uh, made a time pass, so we do we have nothing in loan. We're at 70,000 and back. We make about 20,000 each day on milk, which is totally unrealistic. Who would have, I don't think there's a milk farmer out there that makes that off when you have 80 cows or something. So, um, but. Um, I can't do anything about it, I can't modify the milk price, so I'll just have to settle for it being that way. But we'll go over here and sell this, this cedar, uh, which is cool, I like it. The boxes look so big. Uh, but it worked okay. And we're gonna get another cedar. Yes, 20,000 from here. Okay, so we have... Eight, we need... 80,000 something. We'll go into... Here, and mods, and then sewing machines. And this is the one, the John Deere 2230. It's 85,000 again, I should have kept it. So, okay, so we'll have 50,000 in debt, but we will repay that pretty soon. So, this one, and this one does so soybeans. And it's also humongous. Unfortunately, it's humongous. Bit too big, maybe. Unrealistically big. Um, but we will be able to small soybeans. But it's just too big. Uh, we might as well just fill it up with. With uh, seeds. This is the fun part. I thought you would back it up and it doesn't work. Then you have to. It's. Uh, this. Oh. Okay, so it might be just a turn too heavy for this. This tractor. It's so big. It's This could be my screenshot for today. <laughs> it's big and it's quite heavy. Maybe I guess we have to use the John Deere to pull this one. Oh, in there, probably. Mm, we like that. Maybe I won't be able to get it home. I think I need to wait. Let's see, weights. What sort of weights we have? We got deer. Class, it's so big and heavy. And John Deere, what else do you have it here? 1500. Oh, I'll take this one. It's not ideal, but it's too small. Maybe that was just a waste of money. Oops, sorry. Bye bye. Did you get it up? I'm sorry. Okay, so that was clutchy. And let's just 
that's sure some sometimes an idiot. Come on again, give it up. Oh seriously. I can bring have to bring up a forklift just to Okay. So that didn't work out well at all. <laughs> Buy one more of those. Mm, maybe uh, sell it, I'll sell it. See so sell sell that. We we put this tractor over here. We we'll buy a new one. It's extremely small and totally like worth this piece of weight. But maybe it's heavy. Maybe it's heavy enough to make me be able to pull this. Oh, it's a little better. Actually, way maybe better. I guess it did. Oh. Okay, so this one won't go past the, the railing in the on by the roadside. So we we'll take it across the fields. It's humongous. It's really big. So big. Uh, but this, I tried it out, and it works, and it does. So uh, soybeans. So, so and that's good. Because we want to also oh, you were a little optimistic about the weight. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's here. That's fine. It does have a lot of wheat, corn, barley, canola, sunflower. So I don't know what that is. Oat. Can you use this to well, if this will work? I have enough speed. Um, it's been slowly but surely. So this way we could actually. Mm. So some soybeans, but it's sort of overkill. It looks so big on this map. It's really just ridiculous how big this is. Um, oh come on! Um, just ridiculous big. And my track is seems a bit underpowered to pull this one, but uh, the John Deere is one more powerful and I should be able to pull it. I should have one, I did long to try it on a field, so uh, maybe after, our, after the next harvest we will be able to buy a new field and do some seeding on, on uh, soybeans. In the way, meanwhile, we have to put out some. Oh, that was laggy. We have to put out some some liquid fertilizers on this map. Let's see where did you put my so here? Because the PK seems low on both fields and on number one on the one field our it's also our 
and this. No, so let's see. Let's start with PK. PK. There we go. Here we can see we actually uh, our wheel lane uh, what do you say um what do you call it the uh, mod um wheel lanes mod oh it's not quite very I, I lost the word it's in the description uh, mod that means th that will make uh, Cops disappear when you drive over it. See, it's working, so you get um, tram lines here. The mod isn't called tram lines for some reason. So we go over here. Down here. We get that tram line. So, so next time you have to just uh, sort of weird with the tires, maybe because it's the first tractor. And we can get three tram lines in this field, and then we'll get probably sort of two, maybe two or three on the other field too. So, if you notice, I put main level, I sort of uh, worked a bit on our my logo, and now uh, my logo is full. I think I'm full to get even around this place. Um, my logo is uh, black, white, and green. So you can see it up in the left corner. Uh, if you think it looks good, please let me know. Uh, try to make oh, that was so silly. Okay, if I put if I put it a bit further to the right, I would have could have fertilized this patch without actually driving on it. That's silly. Oh well, can't do anything about it. No. Um, anyway, so there's. Please let me know if you think this version is good, or you would like to. Because I can change it. We have it a little bit see-through, like 60. Go 60 percent to get actually see-through logo. See the behind, but uh, it's not as predominant or clear what it is. So. Let me know which one you think is best. I'm leaning towards keeping it a solid color. Like this. Um, but I haven't decided. So if any input thoughts are greatly and truly appreciated. <laughs> went to work this morning but I'm gonna try to leave my daughter and son at preschool and uh, my son my daughter was complaining about stomach ache so I had to go back home I still went my fiance took our children for and then my son refused to leave to be stay at school so I still I worked um morning I worked from eight till twelve till then then I went home and I I changed so my fiance to leave. And so now home with the kids then very quiet quiet in the sofa for some reason which is well, it's usually a good sign if they're sick but it's a bad sign if they're not sick. 
you mean stuff to no good. So yeah, put PK on this now. You see, about four. No, I should have four PK. Maybe this was stupid. We should just put M on this one. Ah well, okay. So we'll put M on next. Map. He has to be big. I don't know how to think about this because if you sometimes when you put fertilizer on it, liquid fertilizer, if, if I put another second second layer now, uh, I don't think it will actually use that one. <laughs> so now we have a sort of $50,000 loan we will repay, but then it will take a few, a few days because our cows are so damn productive. And then it could be fun to buy another field. Uh, I think two and three, two and four were the ones we were talking about. Both of them needs cultivating, but that's pretty fast job with our young deer and big disc cultivator and then since now we have this gigantic cedar uh, we will go pretty fast I'm not sure exactly how much it will cost the fields So that's one more advantage of owning those fields that you won't have no sorts of problems where it suddenly thinks that you're on the wrong side, on the wrong field, and you know, won't let you put less out exactly like that again. You know that one works? Okay, that's weird. You can even see the tram lines from over here if you look at the field. You can see the tram lines. It's quite cool. I think it is cool, the tram line, with that mod. Oh crap. So I said it before and I say it again, this is why you don't want to use damage mod. Because I would constantly hit things and destroy them. Destroy them, which is not good. I think we can all agree on that. That me, me hitting things and destroying them would just be really expensive. It's not that I don't try to avoid things, it's just that uh, I keep hitting, hitting them. So let's shut that off. Okay, so go. I did check on, on, on using the slurry, but the 
problem is uh, you seem it seems like you have to cultivate it or plow it into the ground for it to work and if you don't do that it doesn't work Let's see how much money we make wheat and uh, don't have wheat and they're on sale ah, very nice uh, I haven't done theirs so can we pay a little bit a thousand Is more so pretty much we will have repaid this this beautiful John Deere 2130 CCS cedar long before we ever use it which is totally unrealistic that's the way it is in this game if you use solid mod and if you use uh, if you let the time pass by, <laughs> let it pass by. Why am I yawning? Uh, let the time let speed up the time. Very well with our little machine park. Working very good. I wonder what the fields cost. I'll have to check that out. And The number four cost two hundred eighty five thousand. Yay. Number two cost one hundred and eighty eight thousand. So yeah, that's a lot of money. That's the way it is. Let's repay the last ten thousand. Have some money. We need to pretty soon fill up the food. I think this is. See, we'll look at food. Or it's probably, I think, the uh, cows. Cows have 3,514, which is not enough to keep it going. So, no straw. Which is good because I have so much, so much manure over there. Maybe we shouldn't give them straw at all, actually. Just let's not give them straw. So you've seen me done this uh, a few times, and it doesn't get very interesting, no matter how you, which way you spin it. Um, it's basically driving back and forth and filling this with food for our cows so I won't bore you with that and I'll simply em empty this one and drive it up to where it's supposed to be empty it it's quite a way, long way from the truck empty it and drive out there was slurry you can it would happen if you had slurry and then you would sort of just use up all this room. But then you're not you wouldn't use up this room. I don't know what would happen then. Okay, so here is our beautiful John Deere Holland T7 240 which we own. It's not a demo anymore, it's the newest tractor we have. It's hopelessly mm, it's a bit uh, it's, it's great it's not a bit it's great. I love it. It's perfect. So anyway, I'm going to leave you here and uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, comment and give me some positive or negative feedback. Uh, every sort of feedback is uh, greatly appreciated. If you, if you leave me negative feedback, just don't, please don't write that I'm an idiot. You can think I'm an idiot, that's okay. But it's not very constructive and it won't help me in any way. So if you, if you want to give me some feedback, please make it sort of constructive so I can use it for something to improve this show. So I'll stop there. Um, take care and bye bye.